family. My name is Not Stop Hardcore, and today I got a tour for you on the wall spin and palm spin. Hey, two for one. Two uh, moves for one video. Good for you. Let's get to it. Might be all right. Okay, so the first step to learning a wall spin is to learn a palm spin. That's why I'm teaching you both of these moves in one video. So, the first step to learning a palm spin is obviously finding out, find an object. So, like, right here, um, the lower it will be, the easier it will be. But, you need to make sure that you get the right technique. So, I would suggest starting low and working yourself up to a higher object uh, just as you get more comfortable doing it. Also, you want to make sure that the object you're doing a palm spin on or attempting a palm spin on is very sturdy. Because if you try it, because this move puts a lot of momentum and pressure on that object. So if you try it on like a fold out table, there's a very high chance you're just going to push it over and fail. So you want to make sure it's on something sturdy. Now the first thing you want to think about is which way you cartwheel. Because the, the, per the way you cartwheel is probably the way you will turn your body when you do a palm spin. So I cart well, I can cartwheel both ways, but my dominant is cartwheeling with my right hand first, so like this. So I'm going to palm spin that way. Obviously, if you're going to go on your left hand, so like this, you're going to palm spin towards your left. So once you figure out which way you cartwheel, then on to the next step, the actual hand placement and doing the move. So I'm going to show this as if I did my cartwheel to the right. I'm going to place my right hand down first on the object with with my fingers of my right hand pointing downwards, so facing the ground. So if it was at an angle, then you'd just be grabbing the edge of the object like this, so like that. And then what you're going to do with your left hand is just place it on top, um, pointing toward whichever way you want it to turn. So it's going to look like this. Now once you're comfortable with just getting a feeling of that hand placement, you can either do this move with a small run-up because some people just feel more comfortable doing that or you can start from standing where your hands are just already on it. So from there, you're going to try to jump straight up and then you want to pretend like almost like a cartwheel except instead of putting your hands on the ground, your hands are on here. So you want to try to get your hips above your head. The main thing you want to think about is having all of your weight on your hands and your center of gravity above your hands instead of uh, away from your hands. So if you look here, all of my weight and my center of gravity are going to be above my hands. If you let your center of gravity drift away from your hands, then you won't be able to finish it completely because all of your weight is going to be thrown that way instead of up. So it's going to look something like this. Okay? Because all of that weight, as I said before, keeps going this way. You want to keep it right here on this axis. Right there. Now, if you feel like you have the right idea but you're just scared, a good way to progress it is to go here and then land on top of the object. Just get a feeling of it. Just keep on thinking about having all of your weight on your hands. And then you want to go into a safety instead of just going completely onto it. So like this. Like that. And then when you feel comfortable to just to complete to just to commit to the whole thing, then commit to the whole thing. Now, if you just watched this tutorial and just learned the palm spin, I highly suggest learning just drilling the palm spin like 10 times in a row before you even think about trying a wall spin because a wall spin is basically a palm spin but 10 times harder. Okay, so if you're watching this part of the tutorial, I'm going to assume that you have your palm spin extremely comfortable. Extremely. As in, you can do it first try, without any practice. Can you do it? Good job. So the next step is probably committing to a regular wall spin, which I will now do the technique of, and I'll show you some progressions later on. The first difference there is between wall spin and palm spin is that you will probably, when you're learning this, definitely need a run-up because you need a bunch of momentum to stick your hands to the wall 
uh, so you don't slip off. When you do a wall spin, you want to jump up really high. A lot of people, like for some reason, will bring their chest down and get really low. Think about getting as much height as possible. And then you're gonna have the exact same hand placement as if you're doing a palm spin. So if you're doing it on your right hand, then you do the exact same thing, fingers pointing down. But instead of having your left hand right next to your right hand, like this, you're gonna have it above you. So it can help you twist. And this is where you really need to make sure that when you're doing your palm spin, you're getting your hips above your head because that's what you're gonna need to do here. You don't have any room to bring your hips forward or else you'll smack into the wall or the tree. So think about just brushing across this. Now the kind of feeling you want with your arms when you're doing a wall spin, we're gonna pretend the ground is the wall. You're going to go like this. So that would be your hand placement. And you wanna to try to think of turning a board or something like that. So going like this, you, you wanna to torque with your arms. So I would do this on the ground just to get the feeling. So just like this, and then try twisting yourself as much as possible. Cause that's what you're gonna be doing on the wall. So, okay, do that a couple times. I know it's weird, but just do it. And then once you know what to do with your arms, you just really have to think about doing that twisting motion with your arms and getting your hips above your head. A lot of people try the wall spin thinking that for some reason you pull your legs through both arms. In reality, you want to try to get your arms above, you want to try to get your legs above both of your arms. So, you want to go like that, not like this. And from there, like if you commit to the whole thing and you're upside down, it's just a matter of committing to the full rotation and landing. What a lot of people do is that they'll commit to the whole thing and then once they're upside down they'll get scared and then just reach for the ground which means they stop putting onto the wall which means they don't do bad they don't do well <laughs> they don't land on their feet so you really got to commit to the whole thing so like almost every free running move this isn't a specifically difficult move like there aren't a bunch of different steps it's just really weird for your body because you don't practice it a lot. So here are a bunch of progressions, which leads us into part two. Progressions, 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 progressions. So as I said, the first progression for learning a wall spin is a palm spin. So learn a palm spin. Yeah. The next progression for a wall spin is doing kind of like a wall assisted cartwheel because that'll help you get the feeling of getting your hips above your head instead of trying to do this motion, which is what a lot of people do. So you're going to do, think of doing a regular cartwheel, put your hand down, but instead of putting your other hand down like this, you're just gonna put your hand on the, put your hand on either the wall or the tree if you wanna practice on a tree. I have to do a tree because over there, there's a big bridge and it's really loud. And you don't need to listen to this, so I don't know why I'm saying it. Okay. That will just help you get the feeling of it. So once again, you're going to put your hand on the wall, put your hand on the ground, and then get your hips above you. Not through you, above you. So like this. Okay? And this isn't really much of a progression, but just for you to get the mindset. Uh, the, like, kind of twisting the ground type progression I said before. So doing, putting your hands on the ground as if you're doing a wall spin, and then just twisting your body around it. So. That. And then from there, after you do all those progressions, the last one complete, the last progression would be doing it on a slanted wall. So that it's kind of like a palm spin where you have more room for your hips, but on a wall. So let's go to a slanted wall. Okay, so this is not as slanted as I thought it would be, but you get the idea. Just find a slanted wall and keep on practicing on that, and then eventually you'll get comfortable enough to do it on a regular wall. Yeah, and that is literally all the progressions that I can think of that for you to use. So now to the last part, common things people do wrong and how to correct it. And the only things I can think of is for a palm spin, as I said before, uh, putting all of your weight away from your uh, hands instead of going completely upside down. Remember, you want your center of gravity and your weight to be on your hands. So completely upside down when you do it. That's really low, so it's hard to land. Remember. Don't drift your body into the object or else you won't be able to get it completely around. So don't do, go over completely like this. Go around. And then when you do your wall spin, remember you wanna get, you wanna get your hips completely above 
your head and arms. You don't want to try to bring it through here, which is what a lot of people do. And that's usually the cause of you just trying to get your feet back to the ground as soon as possible. But in parkour and free running, usually the motto is the longer you are in the air, the better off you are. So stay in the air as long as possible. In the air. Also, one thing I forgot to mention in the technique part of this tutorial for your wall spin, once you commit to the whole thing and you're upside down, uh, your body should kind of sweep this, this hand away so that you're basically only on this hand as soon as you go upside down. Here's, a, here's an example. Here's a quick visual overview so that you know everything to do for the technique. First, get a good amount of run-up so you can stick to the wall. Then, when you jump up, you want to reach your hands in front of you or above you, never below you. Then, once you make contact with the wall, you're going to pretend as if you're trying to twist the wall with your arms. At the same time, you're going to tuck your legs in and try to get your hips above your chest, not through your arms. As you're going upside down, your body should sweep your arm off of the wall. Finally, to land, you just need to commit to keeping your hand on the wall. So finally, the tutorial is over. Once again, as I said before, I hope it helped. If it did, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell button. You should also ring the notification bell button because hopefully I'll be uploading my parkour at school video on Wednesday with the permission of the principal, vice principal, and deans of administration and all that good stuff. See you in the next one. PK person out. Wow.